Well, hello. Welcome back to the West Wing. I'm glad you joined us again this evening. Now, I want to share this email your fellow club member Jeff H. of Florida just sent. It's insightful and contains some very powerful experiences, observations, and comments Jeff made that I know you'll benefit from hearing. And Jeff writes, Ken, this course is something very special. Attached is my dream ticket number two. I just finished it early this morning. What a fulfilling exercise. I'm sharing it with you to complete dream ticket number four. Pretty clever. Normally I would be uncomfortable sharing something so personal, but even though we've never met, I feel like you, more than most, will understand the things I love to do. I've always felt outside the crowd. I don't like watching sports, playing golf, fishing, etc. Creating this list has helped me understand that it's okay to travel off the well-worn path and to thrive on that. Well, what Jeff's saying here reminds me of Ralph Waldo Emerson's words of wisdom. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. And please also refer to page 208 in your handbook and review my comments on Robert Frost's famous but mostly misunderstood poem titled The Road Not Taken. Obviously, Jeff perceives and understands its real meaning. All right, now listen to this as he continues. I've owned a successful small business since 2001. Since around 2008, my business has been in a narrow sideways channel. It's not because of the economy. I choose not to participate in recessions. Now, there's a healthy, prosperous, enhanced perception. And that's fantastic, Jeff. Thanks. Okay, he continues. I've realized it's because in late 2007, I decided to become organized for the first time in my life and to set goals. So I read most of the highly effective books that you can probably imagine. Up until then, I never had goals. I just worked hard and enjoyed my work to the fullest, building my company with revenue and profits expanding year after year. So simply do what you love Put your mind, your heart, your attention, and intention into it, and the universe takes care of everything else. Needless to say, ever since creating my list of goals in 2007, my business and income have been flat. I now know why. I've been so focused on a specific set of numbers, a goal, that I've lost sight of my passions and what I love to do. You see, Jeff was doing great and keeping his attention and his intention upon what he loves to do. He hitched his wagon to a star. But then he actually created and then focused upon the orange cone of a goal. And those are very popular, highly touted, commercially successful, best-selling books Jeff was reading and following. You see, the world has it all backwards. And I recently made a video titled that. You've got it all backwards. I am fortunate that I have been blessed to stumble into one of those golden coincidences, what I love to do and have designed a business and a lifestyle around that. But I've been stuck. I want all of the abundance this universe has to offer. And, as I've heard you mention, only the mediocre are always at their best. I want to advance as far as I can. And one more thing, Ken, I've been asking, please show me what it is I need to know now, exactly as you taught us, 
since last week and the results have been incredible. And he underlines the word incredible. And remember how another club member described this powerful technique? He said, it really works, but sometimes it's like drinking from a fire hose. So if you're not using this extremely powerful technique as I taught on West Wing video number 1515 titled the red, green, and blue technique. What are you waiting for? And then Jeff adds, that technique alone is worth every penny of the UTS club's membership fee. I am onward and upward at full speed. With kind regards, signed Jeff H. Well, a great big thank you for your generosity and willingness to share this, Jeff. And thank you on behalf of all club members who benefited from this, too. You have no idea how many other club members you've helped. Your experiences and your observations and your willingness to share will encourage so many others. Now, wasn't that a special gift? And by the way, when Jeff first joined our club, he sent me this email. Ken, I received the course materials yesterday, and I have one word for you. Outstanding. Everything is first class, plus some. I greatly appreciate your attention to detail and quality. After looking over the materials with me, particularly the surprises, the secret envelope, and the dream tickets, my daughter commented, Wow! This guy is kind of like Willy Wonka. Thought you might find that as amusing as I did. Well, yes, I love that, Jeff, and I consider it a compliment in the highest order. So thanks again, Jeff, to you and your daughter. All right, get going on your next dream ticket and put that oh-so-powerful special request technique to work in your life, too. Start drinking from the fire hose. And let me leave you this evening with the inimitable words of Dean Martin, who said, The road of life is usually under construction. So until next time, thanks for joining me again here in the West Wing. Onward and upward.